energy currency of cells in a living system is so as you have learned about this energy currency from your lower classes that the energy currency of a living system is atp that is adenosine triphosphate now this atp is actually a nucleotide which also acts as an energy carrier of our body apart from acting as a monomeric unit for the nucleic acids so dna and rna these are the genetic materials dna is the genetic material in almost all living organisms except the riboviruses which have rna as genetic material so those viruses which have rna as genetic material are called riboviruses and gmp that is guanosin monophosphate which is a nucleotide so the correct answer to this question is option number 2 that is atp atp is the energy currency of our body now let's see another question here now the next question is question number 81 which says volume of thoracic chamber increases in the antero posterior axis during inspiration by so first of all we need to remember that it is asking about the increase in the volume in antero posterior axis now students as you have already learned in the classes that the inhalation or inspiration it is initiated by the contraction of diaphragm and contraction of external intercostal muscles of ribs as during inhalation the air needs to diffuse in from high partial pressure to low partial pressure and you have learned before that volume is inversely proportional to pressure so when we need to increase the volume we are going to decrease the pressure so the inspiration it is characterized by the contraction of diaphragm and contraction of external intercostal muscles the contraction of diaphragm or the phrenic muscles is going to increase the volume in antero posterior axis while the contraction of the muscles of ribs is going to increase the volume at dorso ventral axis and during exhalation exactly opposite occurs that there will be relaxation of diaphragm which causes the decrease in the volume at antero posterior axis while the relaxation of the external intercostal muscles of ribs is going to decrease the volume at dorso ventral axis so the increase in the volume in antero posterior axis is done by the contraction of diaphragm so yes the correct answer is option number 2 so let me highlight this option for you that is contraction of diaphragm while the first option where there is contraction of external intercostal muscles there will be increase in the volume but at dorso ventral axis and third and fourth option where there is relaxation of the muscles they are simply ruled out because they are going to decrease the volume of the thoracic cavity now let's move to another question question number 82 during normal breathing a healthy man can inspire or expire how much volume of air per minute this is again a question from physiology breathing and exchange of gases so yes we know that an adult human on an average breathes 12 to 16 times per minute right and in one breath we know that we can inhale or exhale 500 ml of air so the tidal volume that is the volume of air that is inhaled or exhaled in one breath so per minute we are going to inhale or exhale 6000 to 8000 ml of air or you can say 6 to 8 liters of air per minute 
So, the correct answer is clearly yes, option number 4 that is 6000 to 8000 ml. So, option number 4 is the correct answer. Rest all answers are incorrect but let us discuss. First option 2500 to 3000 ml. Students, this is the IRV that is inspiratory reserve volume. This is the additional volume of air that can be inhaled forcefully. The next is 1100 to 1200 ml. This is RV, residual volume. The volume of air which is present in our lungs even after forceful exhalation. And the third one, 1000 to 1100 ml is ERV, that is expiratory reserve volume, which is the additional volume of air that can be exhaled forcefully along with TV. So, option number 4 is the correct answer to this question. Now, let us move to another question. 